Okay then team, so we are on session two of this week, week seven of lockdown programming. So what we are looking at is hinging today. So three rounds start off with 10 weighted good mornings. Um, so all we do is we grab our kettlebell or dumbbell, whatever we've got, stick it in that good morning position there and then hinge. So soft knees and hinge. just to get those hamstrings going and squeezing those glutes to stand back up, okay? Once we've done the 10 single um, weighted good mornings, we're gonna go into eight single leg RDLs each side. So I always do my RDLs with the, the weight in the static foot. So from there, I'm gonna then hinge, keeping this the lower body in line with the upper body and the torso. So from here, hinging down, up. And I'm just gonna do eight single legs uh, RDLs on each side and then we're going to finish the warm-up round with six bodyweight Bulgarian split squats on each side as well. So we're just going to hit six bodyweight Bulgarian split squats just to get that glute and hamstring really fired up. So six on each side. So warm-up, <coughs> ten weighted good mornings, eight single leg RDLs each side and then six bodyweight Bulgarian split squats on each side as well. <laughs> That's three rounds. Part of that, let's move on to part A, which is a nice complex piece, but a really hingy complex piece as well. So we're gonna do 30 second weighted good morning hold to start with, okay? So we did this a couple of weeks ago in a different format. We're gonna put that weight into our good morning spot. We're gonna soften those knees, push hips back into that good morning. We're gonna hold there for 30 seconds, okay? And we're just gonna count it through in our head. Once we've held there for 30 seconds, we're then going to go straight into 10 good mornings. Okay? Once we've done our 10 good mornings, we're going to finish that complex off with 10 weighted Kang squats. So again, we're still in this position here, stand up, hips go back, shoulders come forward. From there, we then hit that Kang squat position, hips go back, stretch the hamstrings, squeeze the glutes up. Okay? So it's a really, really hingy kind of good morning um, complex. So the complex is hold that active good morning position for 30 seconds, then into 10 good mornings, which then moves into 10 weighted Kang squats, okay? So I want three of those complexes. Again, a nice priming piece, um, and then we're gonna move into part uh, B. And part B today is every minute on the minute times 10. We're gonna hit that kneeling jump to vertical leap again, which we did last week. I really like this piece, so we're going to do it again. So that kneeling jump to vertical leap, oh, slippers come on, is we sit, oh, I don't know how I'll get on with the slippers in here. So we're on those knees, we're going to jump up onto our feet and then leap forward, okay? So up, okay, nice big extension, okay? If you've got space for it, arms up, I don't, but it's that real explosive, jumping piece that we're after, after that really big hinging piece uh, in part A, okay? So we're gonna do 10 of the, uh, 10 minutes of that, every minute on the minute. Um, you're gonna do eight reps, so you've gotta go through them nice and quick, okay? And we're gonna be nice and explosive. We're gonna finish our session two off with a nice piece of core work, okay? So just three rounds of this, move through it, and again, amend it how you need to, change it, to suit you, but what we're looking at, we're gonna start with 30 seconds of flutter kicks, okay? So a flutter kick is where I come into a dish position here, so my lower back is pushed into the floor, feet then come out to hip width apart, and a kick, toes pointed, okay? So I'm gonna hold there, 30 seconds of flutter kicks. After I've done my 30 seconds, if I can, I'm gonna then, hands go back into 10 hollow rocks, okay? If we can't go straight into the hollow rock, then we're just gonna have a second, pick those feet up again and go into the hollow rocks, okay? Remember, on the hollow rock, I really wanna focus on the lower and back being pushed into the floor, okay? Push by your core into the floor. If we can't hollow rock in that really nice dish position there, okay, then we're gonna change it up. We can bring the hands in so that the distance that we're rocking for is shorter, so those hands come in, less resistance. If we need to as well, we can keep that as a static hold if you need to, or you can bring your feet slightly in as well, so we can go here. Okay, 
for 10 rocks, okay? All I really want to focus on is that lower back staying pushed into the floor, right? So, after our 10 hollow rocks, we're going to flip it onto our front and we're going to do a 30 second plank hold, okay? So in that position, nice strong plank hold, tuck the core in and squeeze, be active, and we're going to be there for 30 seconds. You're going to do three rounds of that core circuit. So 30 seconds of flutter kicks into 10 hollow rocks or whatever your scale is going to be there of, and then 30 seconds in that nice active plank position. And that is session two, done.